Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 17004. This build includes a number of noteworthy changes and enhancements over the last public preview build which was quite a while ago at this point. It's been a while since we've done a build video and that's simply because uh, not much has changed between the last few Redstone 3 builds and the first Redstone 4 build. So yes, build 17004 is officially a Redstone 4 build. That means we're now testing the next release of Windows 10 after the full creators update. So we're at the beginning of a new development cycle which means new features and enhancements will be coming throughout the build builds over the next few weeks and months which is very exciting. So today's build 17.004 includes a couple of noteworthy changes. Firstly to do with the start menu. Uh, the start menu now has fluent design elements such as reveal. Uh, the reveal effect which people love in some apps is now here in the start menu as well. Uh, oddly it's not in the full creators update. The full creators update as you may have noticed is slightly inconsistent with its fluent design implementations. With the version 4 it looks like Microsoft is going to rectify that by you know throwing it at the shell a lot more and in today's build you can see that that is starting to take place. So as you can see when highlighting the apps list I get this nice reveal effect and if I click on one of the apps I get the the usual click animation which is sort of like a circle that focuses in on the uh, the cursor so if I click it here you'll see there it is and that looks pretty nice indeed. We can do it again let's open up the notifications visualizer or let's open up another app let's open up mail I'll actually try and slide it down for you so you can actually see the animation so if we just click in it and hold you'll see there's a circle and then if I let go, that circle disappears. Very nice indeed. And that's also present on live tiles as well. Uh, as you can see there, I'm highlighting the mail tile and I'm uh, there's a bit of light that's following around my cursor. That's, very, that's basically what the reveal effect is. It's just light that follows your cursor around, which is very nice. It's also present around the edge of the tile, although that's a little bit more difficult to see. Let's open up settings. Oh, the hamburger menu also has the fluent design effects as well, which now finally matches the hamburger menu in Cortana. Consistency, we love it. So uh, yeah, let's dive into settings real quick. Um, let's go into personalize and change the color of my live tiles just so you can show off the effect. So you go, if we look closely, if you look at close at the paint tile, you'll see that there is a, a, there is the light sort of shining off it. Same up here as well, which is very nice indeed. So it's a very subtle effect. You have to be paying close attention to see it, but it's a nice effect nonetheless. And of course that same circular animation when you click on something is present here as well. So if we open up mail again. I get that same effect, which is very nice indeed. So moving right along, the next noteworthy change is with uh, this little bit of text here <laughs> in the action center. This is a very small change, but this text now changes depending on your accent color. So if I change it to red here, you'll see that in the action center, that is now a slightly different red. If we go to blue, was that blue? Navy, navy blue would do. You see that's now navy blue. If we go to green, you can see that that is now green. So a nice minor change that's not present in the full creators update, but it is in Redstone 4. So the next noteworthy change is to do with this icon on the desktop. Microsoft is now pinning Microsoft Edge to the desktop by default. Now, don't worry if you don't like this change, you can simply just delete it and it will not return. So if you upgrade to a newer build, it will not come back. Uh, but in this build, at least it's present on the desktop. I'm not sure if this is a permanent change or a temporary one. It's there nonetheless, and perhaps they're just trying to make it so Edge is a lot more noticeable on the desktop for the new users coming from the full creators update to Resident 4 early next year. Regardless, it's there on the desktop now, and if you double click it, it launches Edge, much like you would expect, which is very nice indeed. And finally, if we go into settings, there is a, a new sort of color circle thing in here. This is also new as well. I don't think I've shown this off before. The color and high contrast stuff, there is a whole bunch of new settings in here. You can now choose filters. So if you apply this color filter here, you can see that I've now inverted the entire UI, which actually gives me a nice white taskbar, which looks pretty cool. And there's also different filters. You've got grayscale. You've got grayscale inverted. You've also got a couple other ones, of course, which do their different things as well. But yes, you can turn it on. There's also a shortcut. So if you do the Windows key, Control and C, you can enable and disable that quite quickly. And then there's this circle here, which is new in this build specifically. So that's very nice indeed. Apart from that, that's pretty much it for build 17.004. There's a lot coming with Resident 4, including timeline, cloud clipboard, uh, more fluent design elements in the shell, improvements to Cortana and My People. Right now, My People is still pretty basic, which is unfortunate. Uh, but yes, build 17.004, a great start for fluent design. I'm very excited about all the fluent design elements in start. I can't wait to see that show up in more areas of the Windows shell. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.